Hey, what's poppin' party people? Jack here, back with some updates on the Mr. Potato Head. And as you guys can see from the get-go, uh, we have, I got, new, his mouth is finally on, all the holes are filled up, and he's got new eyes and new eyebrows. And the eyebrows are shiny. Now, I did make the moustache shiny, but I got rid of it because it was uh, too shiny, like really distracting. Like when you'd look at it, it would catch your eye first, and when you look at this, I you're I guess, uh, I guess your eyes are supposed to be caught by kind of the middle area, near the eyes and nose. But anyway, uh, welcome to part two of this series. Now, uh, the uh, final uh, part of the series will be doing the body, because, uh, let's go on. So the body is, um, well, it, uh, it's got these, uh, the weird lip thing that I spoke about in the last video. And if you haven't seen that, you should probably check that out, because I don't think I'll be repeating myself much. But yeah, so... What I've done is I've purchased a body like this, but it doesn't have this, and it doesn't have all these filler holes in that I filled it all up with. Kind of a better look at that. And I will be doing the hat. So the hat I've got right here has a peg in it, and the potato it's based on is the suction hat. So here's some uh, examples of the suction hat. It just kind of sits on his head. But this body doesn't seem to like it. But as demonstrated here, it likes Mrs. Potato Head's uh, head. Doesn't really fling off. It's got no mini holes in it, which is pretty good and just feels a lot better putting it on. Can, uh, just sounds a lot cooler as well, more like in the movie. The reason it's probably like that is just because uh, the magnets in here that do the eyebrows probably line up better. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this does have a magnet in it. So it probably would line up better with the one in there than it does to the one on here. So one on here. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for the hat. Anyway, so something I do want to talk about is the noses. Now, for noses on potato heads, you're not really spoiled for choice unless you go with the collection one. And there is all these ones. The Toy Story 4 one, which I just think looks terrible from the side view. It's, it's just too small. I'd say this one's probably better. It's definitely not got the shape, but the size is a bit better. Then there's this one if you want your Mr. Potato Head to look like Spongios or something. But I did do some looking at the uh, um, 1999 Mrs. Potato Head nose. If you paint that orange, you would have a pretty good looking, probably bet just as good as the collection version nose, to be honest with you. Because it's got the right shape, and I'm pretty sure it's got the right size as well. Just, it, it's pink. Um, here's a few uh, accessories that I use for Mr. Potato Head. Mainly use these when I make my stop motions, like I have these teeth. And these teeth, if he's ever speaking in a scene and he makes a shh sound, I will use these teeth and then I'll use these teeth here. Or I'll use these mouths even to just do basic up and down talking motion. A bunch of new eyes as well that I got today. Um, I just use blue tack to stick them on just because it makes it easier popping them, popping them on and off. Um, it's more efficient than just, you know, putting them in the peg and making sure they're tight enough and all that jazz. And I have pegless of all of these just because some scenes in the movie, his parts don't match up, like in the Picasso scene. So I have like a pegless nose, pegless eyes, so I can line them up with how they were in the movie. Or if they're being moved or taken off. Also something I kind of forgot to mention, which is a bit shocking, is that these eyes at the moment, I haven't got them done with pegs. They are, um... What's called? They're just blue tack at the moment because I haven't done the pegs yet, but I wanted to make this video now Just because I haven't really worked on anything recently stop motion wise, so I thought let's let's do this Also while I'm taking the eyes off some people might want to see what he looks like to have all his parts being taken off and most of the parts are put on there very strong because I uh, I like them on really strong just because I do stuff like transporting him everywhere, and then his pieces kind of get bent out of shape. So I'm, I like to make sure they're all quite strongly put in there. Also, feet update. Um, I filled this in with some clay, and yeah, they look a lot more better now they're all filled in. And same with the, uh, same with the ears. And from the nose, the nose is the same, just super glue that you can see on the end. I also have this baggie full of like pegs and eyebrows. I don't use these eyebrows because they don't really like the ones in the movie. The spare pegs work 
pretty fine. But if you buy these and you expect them to work for the collection potato head, well, uh, sorry, we're going to be out of luck. And for the eyebrows, um, yeah, these have, oh crap, these have the uh, right amount of lines. As for these ones, they don't. They're kind of straight as well. And they have this weird, obviously, this is here so it can attach to the eyes. But in the movie, they just kind of, they, they attach to his face. There's no explaining. It's movie magic. But, uh, yeah, so I stick with the ones I've got. But here's what the eyes look with those on. Oh, yeah, they, they look all right on the body. I mean, I definitely prefer my versions with the these eyebrows. But, I mean, if this is what you're limited to, then, yeah, go for the blind squirrel prop ones. But there they are with just the normal eyebrows. And there's him looking angry. I would say angry eyes, but... In the movie, his angry eyes actually look like this. So these would be official angry eyes, and there's him just looking angry. You're going to light me out the window too? Oh yeah, I should probably address those little holes I will be filling up uh, very soon. So in part three, they should be looking fine. Also, here's a little teaser for the next uh, Mrs. Potato Head video. Well, anyway, guys, I just want to say, if you're making a potato head like this, I'm going to say, I wish you loads of luck, and just don't use this body, it's terrible. Yeah, so good luck to you, but I mean, if you're making a custom anything, if you're making a custom Woody, like that guy who looks like Al from Al's Toy Barn, or if you're making a custom potato head like Strike You and whatnot, or Spongio. But yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you learned something from this, or just enjoyed to see uh, what I created, and I'll see you in part three, where hopefully I'll have the new body and have everything worked out. Uh, if you want to talk to me or if you want to talk to some more people who like Toy Story, my Discord server will be in the link in the description, so will part one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. And yes, I'll record these at night.